So in the Japanese mind, the mm-hmm. typical way of a person in Japan thinking their worldview, what, what what obstacles are there to the gospel in that, that culture? You could argue in America the, the huge obstacle to the gospel is just that rampant individualism, you yes. know, the, the self-made person. So it's, it's rampant collectivism. <laughs> it's, it's the exact opposite. And um, so if you want to talk about like heart idolatry or whatnot, I mean, one of the biggest heart idolatries in Japan is just being Japanese, which means conforming better than anyone else. And those things together are, are I, I, I did this like taxonomy with one of our seminary students who's wanting a church plant. And we were kind of just, I was coaching him, we were kind of processing together. And we, we landed on this like, do everything the same, but better. Hmm. Be the same better. Hmm. And so it's this weird feeling of like trying to get ahead without like really getting ahead. Um, in Japan, you know, one of the first things, you, you've been there with us, one of the first things that people notice is how clean the streets are. And these cities, you know, there's almost no trash anywhere. It's just beautiful cities in terms of, uh, of that. Taking your trash home with you? And, and yet, it's, it's obviously because there's so many public trash cans, right, Paul? <laughs> No, I mean, there's almost no public trash cans anywhere. And, uh, and so, you know, if you think about, okay, if we're in America, in, in a city, and you take away the public trash cans, what would happen? Well, uh, the American mindset is, well, I have trash, and if you haven't provided a place for me to throw it away, then I'm going to exercise my right to throw it on the ground. Yeah. And um, in Japan, people feel a burden to not do that. If, if I put my trash down, then someone else is going to have to pick it up. I'd be a burden on them. That makes me a burden to the community. If I'm a burden to the community, then I'll bring shame on me. If I bring shame on me, I bring shame on my family and you know, those in my circle. So I can't just throw my trash down. So there's, a, there's beauty and brokenness to this, right? When I, we, we do a prayer walk when we have uh, short-term teams visit us, and we always talk about this kind of idea. And I ask the question, I say, which one's more biblical, individualism or collectivism? And you know what they almost always say? The American audience coming you know, from, from places like Texas or, or California, expressionism or extreme individualism, they almost always say collectivism. And some of that's how I just framed it, right? We're yeah. talking about trash on the ground. Sure. Who throws the trash on the ground? Who doesn't? But... Uh, that's because they know the dark side of individualism. Yeah, I, uh, I had that same conversation with a Japanese brother, and, um, and I was kind of sharing with him and kind of processing individualism versus collectivism, and he'd spent some time abroad before in, in the West. And I said, which of those do you think is more biblical? And without missing a beat, he said, individualism. I mean, there's, there's no question in his mind, individualism. He's like, because he knows the dark side of collectivism. Mm-hmm. The dark side of collectivism, collectivism is shame. Shame, which leads to bullying, which leads to suicide, which leads to overwork and pressures and having to not, you know, be able to spend time with your family because you have to be diligent and do your duties in the workplace and, and these kinds of things. 